Hi everybody, my name is Kylie Larson, fitness contributor for thehappinessseries.com. Today's workout is a great postnatal workout, but I'm going to give you a couple options that are going to make it great for whatever area in fitness that you are in today. We're going to start off with 30 seconds of mountain climbers, and that's going to be our cardio interval, followed up by a total body toning move that we will do 15 to 20 reps, depending on how you're feeling today. And as you continue to do, continue to do this workout, hopefully you'll add more and more reps. So let's get started, everybody. Go ahead, find a spot on the ground, come on down to your mat, hands shoulder with distance apart with your fingers spread wide, pull your belly in and up, and on your mark, get set, let's go. So for mountain climbers, you're gonna pull the knees in towards the chest. The more cardiovascular training you want, the quicker you are going to go. Now let's say you're not quite feeling these mountain climbers today, you can take a little bit slower, take the knees into the chest this way. If you did just have a baby and you are just getting back into working out, why don't you just hold that plank? Pull the belly in and up, make sure your eyes are slightly forward. But if you're feeling strong and feel like you want to go after it today, really run the knees into the chest. Legs are light, core is strong, eyes stay forward. Hug the arm, muscles of the arms into the bones. Stay with it, keep breathing for five. Last three, two, let's meet in plank on one. Walk your hands back to your feet and stand up. So go ahead, grab your three to five pound weights here. Starting with alternating lunges with a bicep curl. Palms face forward, feet hip width distance apart. Start with the right leg curl, step back, left leg curl, and step back. Work your way 15 to 20 reps here. Squeeze the biceps. Make sure the knee follows the toes. Crown stays lifted nice and high. As you step back, really press through the front heel. Nice work, you guys. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. Stay with it. Stay strong. You're over halfway there. Good work. One more time each side. And finish up on the left. Place your weights down. We are back to our cardio. Hands hold to a distance. Core straight and strong. Here we go. Run it out. So we don't have a lot of time. We're working our total body here. You could spend 30 minutes on the elliptical, or you could spend about 20 minutes here getting your cardio and your strength training. Nice job, you guys. Remember, work those modifications. Keep breathing. Hug everything tight into the midline. Eyes forward. Core strong. Weight is forward in the fingertip pads and in the knuckles. Good job, less than five seconds here. Last three, two, and one. Walk your hands back to your feet. Stand up, grab just one weight this time. You're gonna take a nice wide stance with your feet. Toes point out, heels are in. We're gonna do a lateral lunge with an upright row. Start by lunging into your left leg and take the weight towards the arch of the foot. Stand up and pull the elbow up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down and exhale up. Things to watch for here. You wanna make sure that your knee is following the toe. We don't want the knee to collapse in. That's gonna put stress on the outside of your knee there. As you row the weight up towards your shoulder, squeeze the shoulder onto the back. Flex your bicep as well. Good job again, 15 to 20 reps here. Keep drawing the navel in and up. Chest stays lifted. Eyes stay forward. Finish it up. You've got four more here. Keep the right leg straight and strong. Continue to work the quadricep and the inner thigh. Last one. And there we are, we're back at our mountain climbers. So huge calorie burn, everybody. Arms strong, eyes forward, run. Again, weight is forward in the hands. Arms are strong, feet are light. Keep it quick. Keep it strong and powerful. Think about all the amazing things you're doing for your body here. Working that cardiovascular endurance, toning the abdominal muscles, strengthening our arms. Good work, less than five. Last two, 
And one, stand it back on up. Second side of those lateral lunges. This time, weight is in the left hand. Legs are wide, toes out, heels in. Lateral lunge down, upright row up. Inhale down, exhale up. Lower and lift. Knee follows toes. Squeeze the bicep. Hug the shoulder onto the back as you rise. So this is not a crunch, it's not a plank, but we are working our core body here. Keep the abs on strong. Hug the front ribs in. Don't let your lower back dip down. Left leg stays straight and strong and powerful. You're gonna work that inner thigh as well. Good work, finish it up here. Four more. Last three. Last two. And one. Weight down, you know what that means, back to mountain climbers. Oh, whose idea was this? Keep running it out. A little bit faster, a little bit stronger. Stay with it. Eyes on the prize, we're getting closer to the end. So as we get tired, sometimes our form begins to slip. Don't let that happen. Hug to your midline. Keep the eyes looking forward. We don't want the head to droop. Eyes engaged. As you look forward, the body's gonna feel light. Good job, less than five. Last two, and one. Stand it back up. Beautiful work, everybody. Now from here, we wanna get the back of the arms. So bring your feet together. Sit the hips back and down. Squeeze the knees, the inner thighs, keep your chest slightly lifted. Bring the weights to your shoulders and hug the elbows in tight. Kick the weights back, tricep kickbacks. Back body stays full. So again, we don't want the back or the belly to dump. Fill up the back body with your breath, and as you kick the weights back, squeeze. Find a pause at the top. Now, are you sitting down as low as you can? This is total body, so don't forget to work the legs, the quadriceps, the hamstrings, the glutes, Collarbones spread wide. Great job, everyone. Stick with it. Final five here. Squeeze at the top. Last two. Hold your last one at the top for one. Squeeze. Hold it there. Feel the burn. Lift it higher. Squeeze the weights even tighter. Last three. Two. One. Release. Take your weights down. Now, Come down to your plank, but this time we're not gonna run, we're gonna hold our plank for one minute. If your wrist do not like holding plank for one minute, you can create fists. The flat part of your hand, the fingers, will press into the mat. You could also use your weights here, knuckles roll to the mat, palms face each other. But if your hands are fine, remember the weight stays forward. Upper back is full. We don't want to collapse into the shoulders. So push into the mat. Don't let the hips sag. Hips nice and light. Press your heels back. So a nice long line of energy all the way from the crown back through the heels. So now we're working that deepest abdominal muscle, the transverse abdominus. It's our worker muscle, right? The six pack, it's there for looks. This is the muscle that really works for you. Keep hugging the forearms in. If you did just have a baby, this is the muscle that helped you push that baby out. Final five. Last three. Two. One. Walk your hands back to your feet and stand it up. Great, so that is the end of the first round. Repeat this workout, or repeat that workout two to three times. And at the last plank, hold it as long as you can. So this week, let's say you held it for a minute. Next week, let's try for a minute and 15. Following week, a minute and 30. So you can start to monitor your progress. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please send your comments, your questions in. We are looking forward to creating more workout videos for you. Have a great day.